Bucks stand, 44%. Actually, that's what our null position will be. Yeah, is is it less than zero point four four? So, the population parameter in the alternative is less than point four four. So everything else left over must be that the population parameter, yeah, is greater than or equal to zero point four four. Okay, so that's our hypothesis. Okay, uh, step two is to define our significance level. The significance, the significance level. Okay, now. The significance level is well. It's this particular percentage. It's it's alpha. It's it's one percent. So alpha is equal to zero point zero one. That's what one percent is as a decimal. Okay. Then finally, what we have is we have our test statistic. Test step three is our test statistic. Okay. Our test statistic. It's a z. Z is equal to the evidence minus the null position divided by the null position times one minus the null position that's the, the if it wasn't right divided by the sample size and it's the square root of that okay so it's the square root of that particular that particular thing here what does that give us from a numbers perspective p is 0 0.4 let's say 0 0.4 minus pi is 0 0.44 divided by pi which is 0 0.44 times one minus 0 0.44 Okay, pi times one minus pi. Divide. Now see that's pi. It's not. It's not pi as in the quantity, which is the ratio of the diameter of a circle to its circumference. Yeah. Okay. Three point one four. So and so on and so forth. It's not that number. It's pi. Pi for p. Pi for p. Proportion. Yeah. It's the population proportion divided by n our sample size, which is a thousand. Okay. And this is the square root, so we get the square root of this particular this particular quantity here. Okay, so when I do this in stages, okay, what I end up with is my z score is going to be equal to well, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.44 gives us minus 0 0.04. It's negative, so this test statistic is going to be negative, which needs to be divided by. Okay, and let's just do this in one go here. Actually, let me just do the the numerator here. Okay, in this part of the fraction, so it's 0.44 times 1 minus. 0.44 times 1 minus uh, 0 0.44, okay? That gives me a value of 0 0.2464. So I have 0 0.2464 must be divided by 1,000, and that's the square root of that here, okay? So I'm gonna just do this square root here now. So it's the square root of open brace 0.2464 divided by 1,000, divide that by 1,000 and close my round brace. That gives me a value of 0 0.015 Seven, let's say to, to 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 four decimal places. So it's minus zero point zero four divided by zero point zero one five zero point zero one five seven to four decimals. Okay, and when I do the division here, I end up with my test statistic is minus. So it's point zero four divided by point zero one five seven gives us a test statistic. That's that's two point five four eight to three decimal places. So it's 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 two point it's minus two point five four well let's actually go to four decimal places it's minus two point five four eight sorry seven seven eight to four decimal places okay you probably need to agree with your with your with your examiner uh, or your lecturer how many how many decimals you should round to i've actually rounded to uh, well these were given into two decimal places i probably should have gone to two decimal places but i would have lose, lost accuracy so my test statistic and i mean this case is is minus two point five four seven eight so that's actually just basic arithmetic here. Okay? Uh, do we haven't done anything really difficult, I think, up to this particular stage. Well, the hypothesis is probably the most challenging thing to frame. Yeah. So what I need to do now is I need to I need to develop okay the critical values. Okay. So our test statistic is a z statistic, so it follows a z distribution. Okay. So I'm going to have to figure out my critical values. So step four is my critical my critical values. Okay. Now our distribution. Is the z distribution okay? Uh, it's centered on zero, so this is my z distribution. Okay, this is my z axis along here, and all the probabilities are under the curve. Okay, uh, let's just go back to our test. Our test, the de the default position, the, sorry, not the default, the alternative was that the population parameter is less than 0 0.44. There you go, there's my arrow. Yeah, my arrow is pointing to the left. So actually, for me to show that it's less than 0 0.44, I need to show that. I need to show that my test statistic falls in this particular region over here, okay, with respect to the curve.
So the question is, what is that critical value here? What's this critical value? Okay. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, we've given tables okay, that have areas in, that give air cumulative areas from a positive Z, Z, uh, Z, uh, Z, uh, statistic uh, perspective yeah so actually this z score this critical value here needs to have all of my all of my significance it needs to have zero point it needs to have 0 0.01 of the area under the curve needs to be needs to be to the left of this particular z score okay now true symmetry true symmetry the symmetry of the curve when i flip this over i get a curve that's still centered on zero but this critical value goes over here Okay? And this area becomes over here. And there's 0 0.01 of the area over here, so there's going to be 0 0.01 of the area over here. Now, our, tests, our, our, our Z tables give us, gives us areas to the left-hand side of any Z score. Okay? So it gives us cumulative probabilities or cumulative area up to a Z score. So actually, what I need to do is I need to find the critical value that has, or the Z score that has, well, the total area under the curve is 1. The area to this 